Welcome back. Today we're going to generate ideas about the theme art you can wear. Our essential questions are what kinds of art can you wear? How will you create a piece of art to wear? We'll first look at some pictures and a demonstration, then you'll have studio time to create, then you'll clean up your materials, and last we'll share and reflect at the end. The studio habit we're focusing on today is called Envision. You're going to be thinking through your ideas and planning them out before you create them. Let's start by taking a look at some artist examples of art you can wear. Alright, I just wanted to show you a few ways to get started with some wearable art. Um, if you wanted to create something that has some fringe on it, um, if you were with me the last couple weeks, I think we did some fringe, but you can just cut little cuts that are close together like this. And notice I'm not cutting them all the way off my piece. Um, when you get done with that, you can roll them on a pencil or on a pen marker something, anything you have to roll them up and that will make them curled on the ends. So that's one idea. And to get this to stay, um, if I wanted it to stay on something, I can just glue this part that I didn't cut all the way through on if it's maybe hanging off the edge. Or if I want these spikes or the fringe to stick straight up, I'm gonna have to fold a little foot down here. So I'm gonna fold all this back just cut this off so it's easier to see. So if I want this to stand up on something, like maybe I'm making a hat or a, who knows, some shoulder things, like a vest, uh, I just folded the bottom part, um, folded it back so I can make a little foot on it that I can glue down and then this will stand up. Um, if you're gonna create something like uh, spikes, Maybe you want to have uh, a long strip and you want some spikes sticking up from that. You can cut some triangles out. Cut a couple of triangles here. And then they're not gonna glue just like that. You're gonna have to fold the bottom part of it. Fold it back just a little bit. That way it'll give you a flat piece to put the glue on right there. So you could glue the spikes standing up like that. Um, so fold that bottom part. Paper needs sort of a flat surface sticking to a flat surface. So I can make a row of spikes. Um, if you want to make something like a, like a mask where you have um, two eye holes and you want them to be symmetrical, which means uh, the same distance from the middle, um, mirrored, you can fold your paper in half first. Now anything I cut out of this fold is going to be in the middle of my paper, but if I want those two eye holes to be sort of a little ways off, I'm going to figure out where I want my eye. I'm going to fold it in half again like this, and now I'm going to cut it out of that fold. So that was, I folded it once, and then I folded it twice, and now I'm going to cut out of this hole, I mean out of this fold. So maybe I want to eye shape like that. Then when you open it up, it's gonna put them just like that, same distance from the center. Um, if I want to cut on the center line, I can just cut a shape out of that, and that'll put it out of the center. All right, um, so have fun experimenting today. You come up with your own ways of creating some wearable art. You might want to do a brainstorm list first of just ideas you have and think them through, figure out where you want to start, and see what you can make. It's time to create. Go ahead and pause the video, gather your supplies, and get started. When you're finished, press play for the reflection questions. 
As I go through the questions, feel free to pause the video so you can think through your answers. Number one, what kinds of wearable art did you create? Number two, how did you make your pieces fit on you? Number three, can you think of any ways to improve your designs? That's all for today. I hope you had fun creating some wearable art.